Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ from Outdoors-ish. Uh, we're going to go over a quick uh, gear review. We're going to be reviewing the Sitka Mountain Gloves and the Sitka Stormfront GTXs. Uh, this is just my personal take on it. I'm an everyday guy. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to do your homework to see which one's going to be the best bang for your buck, depending on where you live. Uh, I hunt in Washington State, so it's pretty wet out here. Um, both these gloves have been pretty versatile, but I'm going to go ahead and give you my personal pros and cons with them. So let's go ahead and start with the Sitka Mountain Glove. If you guys don't know, for me, Sitka gloves run a little bit big, so I always size down just a little bit. The Sitka Mountain Glove, um, it comes with the windstopper material on the outside as well as like a rubberized grip on the inside that wraps around to the fingertips here. It's a nice snug fit. It has a nice piece of leather on here that will go ahead and help you get it on and off. Um, there is a small elastic band which kind of keeps it somewhat tight um, to your hunting uh, gear that you're going so water can't seep through here. Um, these are water resistant. So when it's raining here and I'm touching either my uh, rifles wet or whatever it is, these will retain a little bit of moisture after a while. Uh, however, though, it's not it, it's not too bad unless you're in a complete downpour. Then once they're wet, they're they're wet, and you got to go ahead and dry them out. Um, so some of the pros are they are nice and light. They're comfortable to have on. I I feel like I have good positive control of my rifle um, when I'm using it with this rubberized grip material on here. They fit nice and snug, and uh, again, I can't feel the wind on my hands with them. Um, some of the cons, though, like I say, they are not waterproof. They are only water resistant, so they will get wet if you're working in a really damp environment. Uh, so when we go over to the Stormfront GTX glove, uh, some of that same rubberized material is on the inside here. Uh, if you don't know, this glove kind of functions like a gauntlet uh, more than anything. So on the inside, they do have these uh, Sitka liners, um, which are like cold weather merino wool liners. Um, you know, they're obviously made for being up in the mountains and uh, keeping your hands warm while you're up there. Now, this gauntlet is 100% waterproof. Uh, I've wore it several times up here in the Cascades as we're going through and we're hunting. Um, it, it's great for moisture control. Uh, it does have a little piece of Velcro on here which secures it down. Um, however, it doesn't get as snug as I would like it. There is another piece of the elastic material that kind of runs through the wrist area right here where this kind of flares out and attaches over whatever you're wearing, whether it be a sweatshirt or a jacket or whatever it is. Um, what I do like about these gloves are with this gauntlet, um, you can also gear up your hunt. So if this just isn't doing it for you, um, you can use it interchangeably. So you could put on like say this timber glove or this mountain glove, excuse me, and put that gauntlet right over it. And then secure it down. The only, one of the cons that I don't like about these GTX gloves are, is it almost feels like you have the Spaceman hands going on with it sometimes. They're not as nimble and dexterous or dexterous as these mountain gloves are where I can really feel and kind of feel in tune with it. However, if you're sitting up on a ridge and you're glassing or you got your binoculars out and you're getting that beautiful fall Washington weather coming down on you, I know that I can put on these Stormfront GTX gloves. I can take them right out of the backpack and I can put those on. And not only do they keep my hands warm, uh, but they're also going to keep all that moisture out. So that's really the only cons that I found with these is they are kind of bulky. They're not as nimble, um, but they do keep your hands warm and they do keep your hands dry. Um, that's just my personal take on it. If you guys are just looking for, you know, I believe in the function of use. What are you going to be using them for? Where are you going to be hunting at? Um, all in all, both great gloves by Sitka, um, but if I had to use it for an everyday use and you're not going to be in that heavy downpour, that super wet Washington weather or Oregon or somewhere out here in the West where, you know, you're going to be dealing with a lot of moisture, uh, I would go with the mountain glove. So both great systems by Sitka. Hopefully this will go ahead and help you make a decision.